good morning what is up welcome back to my channel today's video is gonna be a good one because I am in the fall mood this morning I just woke up so ready it's a nice September Sunday morning it's a little gloomy like rainy and dark out but not like cool it's like 74 75 so that's like starting to get in the fall weather I've got my little like cozy sweater on I wore this last night out to just like Texas Roadhouse and we were running our errands together and oh my god was it just so nice to have like a nice big like cozy sweater on I'm just ready for fall so I thought today we were gonna do a nice welcoming fall fall is here let's do all the fall fun things together today so with that being said if this is the first video of mine that you are ever assembling upon subscribe down below we have a ton of fun around this little corner of the internet and yeah we just have a lot of fun around here it's very chatty lots of things that feel like we're on FaceTime and yeah I just do a little bit of everything but I'm excited for today's video what are we doing today you're probably all wondering the first thing is we are gonna open up my entire fall decor box and go through and see what we do have then we're gonna see if there's anything missing or things that we would like to buy today I have not bought a single piece of fall decor this season yet specifically waiting for this vlog and to do like little hauls well that's a lie I bought two like on the rocks fall like little pumpkin glasses so I did buy those and then we're gonna have a cozy night slash day in today because it is the first football Sunday of the season as well so we're making some sheet nachos and a nice salmon dish for dinner some buffalo cauliflower so we're gonna have just a nice cozy night in and I'd really love to make my fall bucket list today things that Corey and I want to accomplish within the next few months for fall and yeah we'll spend some time just reading and cozy up on the couch and we're getting a PSL from Starbucks today. I thought I was going to start this vlog yesterday, which was Saturday, but I just didn't have time. We had so much going on yesterday. And so I didn't drink coffee yesterday thinking that I was going to do that yesterday. So this morning I'm doing the same thing. It's only 1021 and we're going to be leaving here in the next few minutes and we're going to get a coffee. So with that being said, let's get into the vlog. We're going to start with a fall decor haul of everything that I already own. One thing that is a little bit different this year about decorating our space, home, area, where we live and whatnot. If you're new to the channel, my fiance and I are currently living with my parents to save money before we buy a home and as we're getting married next year in September. So basically I'm not decorating a full apartment home whatever that might be I'm decorating really just our bedroom our own personal bathroom with like a little touches like a few touches and then probably a few things in the office and anything that I feel like I want to decorate throughout the house I can as well because obviously I'm here too but let's go through and see what fall decor I have and then if there's anything that I feel like I want to invest in or anything new that I want so first and foremost is this really comfy like snuggly fall blanket I bought this probably three years ago Ago, and I just love kind of keeping it out during the fall season because it's nice and warm and snuggly then we've got some dish towels I have this one which is a little bit more like Thanksgiving eats got a little turkey on it and then I have these really cute orange like KitchenAid ones so we'll definitely put those out in the kitchen this year because I don't love them so I probably wouldn't take them with us to our next home so that's just like a nice little thing to keep out got some little Hep Halloween slipper socks and then I have these really cute acidy wash white pumpkins I can probably put those in the kitchen they match really really nicely with the dish towels so that's cute this is I actually have three fall blankets this one we actually got on our for our first apartment to go over like a throw chair then we also put it in the throw chair last year don't need three blankets in a space that I don't have really many chairs so we've got this cute little like orange and red ish blanket then I have these are like my two Two favorite things that I bought last season I ended up buying these like wickery almost looking pumpkins I think Halloween decor is really cute if you get it right I'm just more of a fall girl I think than a super Halloween girl and only because I like more of that like cozy fall vibe than the cozy Halloween vibe I think they're both extremely adorable I just am more of a fall girl and then we also I'm like I wrapped this up so funny oh yes I know there's a lot more to come in here so then we have this which is my little like pumpkin candy jar bowl and it also has like a little topper I just have to oh here it is right here here is the lid so we've got a cute little like 
candy bowl topper. This is cute for like maybe Nespresso pods. We don't actually, we took our Nespresso down, so probably use something else. And then also in here, I do have some mugs, which is nice because I was worried that I wouldn't be able to use a lot of our fall stuff because I thought it was wrapped away, but I remembered that I wrapped up all of our fall stuff in its own separate bin. So I do get to use my Mickey spider mug, which I'm so excited about. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to use that this season. And then it's also nice just to reopen everything because then you're like, oh, what do I actually have? We have Corey's little happy fall. Corey loves a truck, so he has his pumpkin truck mug out. And then we also have some of these is like reimagining or like re-remembering what you actually had out. Oh, I love this mug. My mother-in-law bought this for me last year. It's this white pumpkin mug. The problem is she is like a nightmare to drink out of. So she might just be like an accessory maybe with some pens or something because that mug is a pain in the ass to drink out of. But could be a cute little like ice cream bowl mug or something. And then we've got another fall mug. Maybe I don't need a fall mug today. I've got this one that says, hello pumpkin. So another cute little fall mug. And then, okay, I guess that's it. Then we've got three little pairs of PJs. So I always keep my fall PJs separate. I've got these little ghosties, which are so cute and really, really soft. Then I have these as well. These are my favorites that I own. They're these like Halloween candy, black cat ghost pumpkin ones. So that one's again, more spooky. And then these I got like three years ago and I'm obsessed with them. They're Halloween donut pajamas. Like I just love these. I think they're so cute. And then again, we've got a ton of just like Halloween, like comfy, cozy socks. I packed away in here. I won't like flip the camera, but it's just all of my like glass pumpkins. But I s shoved these little like Halloween socks in there so that it would not break. But we've got this pumpkin. I'm a pumpkin girl. I don't think I need a single pumpkin. I got these from Target last year in like all different sizes. And then we've got these little orangey little guys too and then one more blanket but it's holding up the pumpkins it's like this auburn knit blanket maybe that one will go in here to keep it a little more like orangey fall-ish vibes so this is everything that we have honestly i really don't need any more pumpkins because i have a ton of just like regular like loose pumpkins so that i definitely don't need maybe just another dish towel i think would be nice to match with those orange ones so we'll definitely be on the lookout for some dish towels today i would honestly be interested in maybe a mug as well i don't love this mug i don't know if it's like suiting me anymore it's cute but if i found another mug that i really liked i would probably invest in it and then we'll get definitely some little like halloween candy to go in the candy bowl other than that i'm open to buying a, a, a few little things of decor i only have one box of fall decor because we really just kind of scatter pumpkins throughout light candles and that's kind of the way that i decorate for fall but if i see maybe some you know sunflowers or fall ish themed something that really sticks out to me then i will definitely definitely get it because I think it's always nice to have just some new little pieces. I don't think you need to go crazy. Um, this was all stuff that we've bought over the last two years. Definitely not more than two. We didn't really decorate for fall all too much in our first, first apartment, but in our second, third, and fourth, we did. This is everything that we've got for fall decor. We'll kind of see what speaks to me at the store today. For stores that we're going to, we're just going to Home Goods and Target really hard because I'm not decorating my own space. And if I like it for this space, I don't know if I'm gonna love it for my next one so we're just trying to be a little bit more kind of cost effective I did get a little something from Marshall's yesterday but I'll save that for like the big fall haul when I come home with a few more little decorations so with that being said let's head to Target let's head to Home Goods, and let's go get a pumpkin spice latte and let's start our cozy little fall day stop number one iced coffee Target acquired I went with hot was thinking iced but then I walked into the store and it was like kind of warm or kind of cold, I mean. And so I was like warm, and then I walked outside and I'm sweating. So we're gonna just have to go through with the pumpkin spice latte warm today.
store and these two bags are full and very heavy and we went to Target too. So we went to Home Goods and Target. Those are the only two stores that are, I don't want to say that are close by, but they are literally a 10 minute drive from my house and it just does not make sense to be going all over the place for Vol Decor when I feel like I have enough and I don't need too much more or just don't need a lot to be driving all around. So let's get into the new fall haul. I'm excited to share everything that I got with you guys. So let's start with Target because there's really nothing much in here. The only thing that I got from Target was I got some new slipper fuzzy socks. I, when I did my like huge closet clean out yesterday, just ended up throwing a lot of stuff out. And when I was even looking at some of the ones I kept, I was like, Brianna, these are gross. They're dingy, like throw them away. So I ended up getting a new pair of slipper socks or two pairs, the black and white in the black and then I have been wanting these I've seen them on TikTok, and I wear like my Uggs little sneakers rain boots and all that kind of stuff so I ended up getting this three pack of socks so it's got white light brown and then dark brown perfect for fall I got this really cutie like pumpkin mug they had another mug that I loved and it was like a, a baby ghost with like a little smile and where I thought it was so adorable, it's probably so hard to drink out of. And I was like, I don't know if I love that. So we ended up going with this like fun jack-o'-lantern pumpkin one. And then on the inside it says, Happy Halloween. This was only $5. I am a stand for the $5 Target mugs. They are great. I have a ton of Christmas ones and I absolutely love them. So that is a quick little Target haul. Next on to, well actually, you know what? We'll throw Marshalls in because it's just one thing. I ended up getting a new pair of really soft like fall PJ pants they're little pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkins only ten dollars I always get my jammies in a medium they're so comfortable so so soft and as you can see I've kept some of my other ones for three years and I just love them so that was the Marshalls haul now let's get into home goods so first and foremost I bought this nice new oversized bag very cutie very fall autumn leaves and pumpkin please so thought that was cute nice little fall reusable bag to have throughout the season i did end up buying a i would say like a good amount or just like a lot of bigger items however some of the things are things that I could bring with us to our next home that are not necessarily fall. And that was kind of where I got sold on buying a few extra things. So the first thing that I bought was this little like faux fuzzy like feather plant thing. I think it's really cute and I think it would look really nice on the bookshelf up there just to give a little texture with some pumpkin in front of it. But I think this is very like all season, all purpose. So I bought that. Then I bought these three wooden candlesticks. I think these are so absolutely beautiful. So I have the little like baby one down here. Oh, that's like a weird little chunk of wood. That's all right, I'll spin it around. But I bought three these in a set of three. I think they're so beautiful and I feel like I could use these in the fall. I could use them winter, summer, spring. Like they're just a beautiful decor piece. And I feel like I'm kind of over the white ones that we've had. We've had them for about three years. I got them on sale at Michael's and I'm just excited for a little something new. So I thought these would be a beautiful investment for not only fall, but just in general decor when we move, when we're here, can leave them out full time. And I think that they are so beautiful. Not a fall item, but we actually did need a new paper towel holder because the one that we have at my mom's just like paper towels fly off of it and I can't stand it. So we bought that. Next, I hit the jackpot on Luminar candles. If you know about these, I get so many comments and questions on where my like fake faux candles are from. They are from the brand Luminara. I got onto these because my mother-in-law and my grandmother-in-law or Corey's grandmother is obsessed with these and they got me and my sister-in-law started on them but they are super expensive like you can buy them on QVC you can buy them at Pottery Barn like they've always just been really expensive so for the last like year I found a ton at home goods so when I see them I always buy them so I bought myself this one which is adorable it's a pumpkin luminara so cute I'm excited to stack that on the bookshelf over here so I got one for myself and then like I said I ended up facetiming my sister-in-law Megan so I bought her one as well then in addition we've got more luminaras i bought every luminara they had except for one of the pumpkin ones so my mother-in-law wanted these they're little luminara acorns so she wanted two so i bought two for her and then my sister-in-law wanted an acorn and so did i so i bought each of us one one for me and one for her so i bought one two three four five six wait one two three four five six luminaras today they had a total of seven at the store and i bought six of the seven so that was a pretty big like chunk of money just right there but i bought them as gifts for my family then next i bought this little like muff 
muffin. This is not a muffin tin. This like banana bread, pumpkin bread, any kind of a bread loaf pan. I'm really looking forward to making some banana bread this fall and whatnot. And where we're at my mom's, a lot of our bakeware has gotten put away. And I don't actually know if she has one. Maybe she does, but either way, I just thought that would be nice. Then I ended up buying some mugs. Again, I may not keep every single one because I went to Target and found that jack-o'-lantern pumpkin one. But this one I've been eyeing for a really long time. And it is the little like scary pumpkins. This one was also only $5 from Home Goods, And I just like all the scary like pumpkin-y guys. I think is really cute. So I bought that. Then I bought, do I even forget what I bought? Oh no, I remember what this is. This is a little pumpkin that I actually felt like where I said I didn't need a lot of pumpkins. I love that this one was just like a different shape and it's got that almost like, I don't know if you can kind of tell, it's a little bit speckled. Yeah, there we go. And it's got this dark stem. And I don't know, I just felt like this was really like beautiful and fun and different and I feel like it will look really nice matched with the wood from the candlesticks and that little like fuzzy Sherpa thing. And then last but not least, I also remember what this is. I got just a little candle for the bathroom because sometimes when we're home on a weekend, do we want to light the candle or when you start decorating and you want to get a little candle lit? I didn't want a huge one for in there, but something small that I could just keep on the bathroom sink. This one smelled really good and I thought it was just very minimal and just nice looking it was white pumpkin the brand is light candle co got it at home goods yeah the top is really pretty and yeah it's just like a nice little note of fall not necessarily that it's pumpkin but it's just giving fall vibes you know what i mean i didn't want something apple-y but i wanted something that was nice for the bathroom that's that that is all the fall haul that's everything that i bought today and i feel really good about my purchases because the only really decor that i would say that i've bought was the two mugs the candle this little pumpkin and my luminara acorn and pumpkin other than that we don't have a ton of stuff that's going to be sprawled out and a lot of the candlesticks and that new like faux plant thing I feel like can live in our room and just in our space in our home for a while you know it's not necessarily seasonal so we are actually gonna go cook some lunch really quickly so we're gonna do some sheet nachos which I'm excited about and buffalo cauliflower because it is the first football Sunday of the season so we're gonna go cook some lunch and then after that we're gonna put on some fall ambiance light a nice little fall candle and we're gonna decorate for the season Alrighty, we just, oh, it's like super bright right here because I'm standing in front of the window, but I just feel like this is like some of my favorite lighting in front of the window. But we have just finished up lunch. We relaxed for probably like two hours from like start of lunch to end of lunch because we were just kind of like relaxing, hanging out with each other. We called some family to say hello and happy Sunday. First football Sunday of the season. So we did bell pepper, half bell pepper and chip like sheet nachos. They were delicious. We vlogged the entire thing for a separate video I'm doing for like five dinner meal recipe ideas. So that will be up shortly as well. And we made some buffalo cauliflower in the air fryer. It was okay, but it's just like a cozy, gloomy day. It's dark out. It's like raining. The perfect first football Sunday and the perfect first day to decorate for fall. So we've got my, all right, so hopefully the lighting changed a little bit, but this is my little like anthropology pumpkin cutie mug. And on the inside it says, I've never met a pumpkin that I didn't like. And that is pretty true. And this is just like a cutie old mug. My mother-in-law bought it for me, I think last year, but I made a little cup of hot chocolate and we are just going to get in the fall decorating mood. I've got all the stuff that I've bought today. So we're just going to kind of like take some time, organize the room. I'm going to light a nice fall candle. I'm really excited. I put on like my comfy, like pants too just to like get in the comfy cozy fall vibes so let's decorate for fall
friends, good morning. It is the next day, yesterday ended up getting really busy and really, really chaotic. I ended up decorating for fall, then I went and sat on the couch, started editing, then I watched some YouTube, then I was exporting some videos. Like it was just a crazy busy night and I thought we were gonna do like much more yesterday, but we didn't get the chance. So I thought I would do a quick little check-in. Also, I made a nice, oh, my battery's gonna die. All right, we're back. I changed the battery, but what I was trying to say before was I made myself a nice little like fall coffee this morning my first like at home fall coffee of the season and it just feels so good to be drinking fall coffee I called my mom this morning before I started work I am just over this weird summer crazy weather this is like the last two weeks of of like summer that I cannot stand it's where it's really rainy and really humid and gross but like it's gloomy out so where you think you're gonna walk outside and get that fall weather because you're excited for fall you walk outside and it's like a literal wet face cloth and I'm like that is not the vibe I don't want to do that also comment down below this is my hair you guys, this is my natural hair, air dried, no product in it. I do have some, like I said, some of that breakage and some of those flyaways. And I just wanted to let it air dry today to see exactly what I was gonna do. I threw it up in just like a little claw clip, at least to get some of it like out of my face, but I'm enjoying it. I wanted to go my first wash without any product just to see how my hair fared, just naturally air drying. I'll probably put some heat on it in the next day or two. And then the next time I wash it over the weekend, hopefully we can put some curl cream in it and see what the curl cream does. But I wanted to just do a quick check-in and say hello and good morning. I've got my delicious little warm fall coffee, which is incredible. Incredible. but I made an autumn bucket list on Canva and I wanted to share it with you guys and walk through what I am excited for and what I am looking forward to for this autumn and this fall in terms of a bucket list so I will have it screenshotted and I'll put it up on I'll move over a little bit but I will throw it up on the screen over here so that we can actually walk through my autumn bucket list together very excited for upcoming autumn so the first thing that I'd love to do this autumn is I'd like to make an at-home pumpkin spice latte I've never done that I just kind of tend to buy them out and about so would love to try an at-home pumpkin spice I think I want to carve a pumpkin Corey and I normally never carve pumpkins but I think I'd like to try to carve one I think that could be fun definitely want to go apple picking I really enjoy honey crisp apples so for me apple picking is the dream because then I actually eat them at home and I think it's a ton of fun I'd also like to have a cozy date night in so like cooking the cookies and having you know a spooky movie on or a festive movie on or something like that just a nice fun cozy date night in I think would be nice I'd love to go to Hogan Cider Mill in Connecticut it is look it up on insta or online it is amazing what they have there such a fun like fall bucket list item that i would love to do i would also like to have a seasonal movie night i didn't say scary or spooky because i actually am very scared by scary movies it's like not my thing but like you know Charlie Brown pumpkin or a haunted mansion or something still festive. Next is I'd love to go to a football game. We are going to the Patriots Giants game Thanksgiving weekend, but I mean like in my local town like because I used to be a cheerleader for our high school football team I would love to go back and like watch a game or UConn or just something fun I think that could be fun and festive next I'd like to visit a pumpkin patch either to get a pumpkin to carve or get a pumpkin to paint I think would be really fun I'd like to go shopping for fall candles let me tell y'all I y'all oh I don't know where the y'all came from but let me tell you guys I went to go into my fall, not my fall, but like my candle bucket bin, two fall candles, and they're the little baby ones from Trader Joe's. We must have used up every fall candle last year in the apartment. So where I thought I had candles, I have zero. So definitely need to get some of those. I'd like to drink some hot apple cider. That's something that I enjoy so much during the season. Sometimes I can get my hands on it, sometimes I don't. I normally never make it at home, so I would just love to do that this season. Next, I'd love to go to the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular in Rhode Island it's where they carve all these pumpkins there's like thousands of them and they're carved and it's just like really cool and fun and beautiful so I would love to do that I'd love to make a new soup recipe I think that could be kind of fun and enjoyable I would love to learn how to make loaded baked potato soup that is something that is on my bucket list 
I'd like to read a spooky book and the one I'm referring to or in my head I have four books that I'm ready to read this season the first one being the silent patient so I think that will be perfect for fall and cozy spooky moods I'd like to bake on the weekends I'd like to make a banana bread maybe a pumpkin bread cookies just anything baking wise you know I feel like sometimes I get into baking and sometimes I don't but I think it could be fun to bake a few weekends during the fall I'd like to enjoy cozy sweaters if you watched my huge like closet clean out I got rid of a lot of sweaters and I always say I'm gonna wear sweaters while I work and I never do so I really just want to enjoy being in my sweaters and just like being overly cozy and comfy at all times next is make an apple pie Corey and I made our first apple pie like three years ago in our second apartment that we ever had together and it was a blast it was so fun I enjoyed it so I would love to do it again this year I'd like to go to the big E as well we're hopefully going this weekend but with the upcoming like storm I'm getting a little bit worried so we'll kind of have to see how that fares but if not we can probably go during a weeknight I'd like to trick-or-treat we always trick-or-treat at my campground so I'm excited to do some trick-or-treating with my niece and nephew this season I think that will be fun I'd like to take photos with the leaves. That sounds so silly, but I feel like every fall I see these cute, you know, Pinterest girlies and the girlies on Instagram, like taking photos with the leaves. And then there's me who's just never taking photos with the leaves. So I want to take some photos with the leaves this year. And then next is I just want to be thankful. I had a moment yesterday where I was texting Carter. I just was like in my comparison era, like in this entire video, it's been so fun to like decorate our own room and, you know, do fun fall festive things. But I'm I'm not decorating an entire space I don't live in my own space anymore and I'm trying to take pictures for the thumbnail and it's just not coming out well and I'm trying this new app but my camera's being fuzzy so I'm in this comparison game and at the end of the day I just I want to be thankful so I put that one on there at the bottom because I think throughout the entire upcoming fall season I really just want to be thankful and enjoy the season and what life is bringing me right now everyone is in their season of life for a reason so I think it's very important to just be thankful that is gonna be this fall video I thought it would be fun to kind of end it off with a little autumn fall bucket list I'm really excited for the things that are coming up this season but I love you guys so much let me know what other fall videos you want to see comment down below anything that you want to see and I love you guys I will see you in the next one bye everyone